Happy holidays and welcome to Southern States Wrestling. Bo James here with another big episode this week as we get ready for this Wednesday night, Christmas night, the annual Christmas night Star Wars at the Model City Event Center, 201 East Center Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, right across from WKPT TV and radio. You are looking at action from the Thanksgiving extravaganza as Ray Idle won the Southern States title and you see Dan Richards' buddies in the Mega Destroyer and Sean Cruz getting involved after the match, doing a number on the new champion. This Wednesday night in Kingsport, Tennessee, Ray Idle defends the Southern States wrestling title against the Mega Destroyer. Let's hear some words from the new champion and then Sean Cruz and Mega Destroyer. Hello again, everyone. This is Jamie Harris here with the brand new Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion who has a big match on Christmas night against the Mega Destroyer. I'm sure it's going to be a rough and tough match. What's your thoughts on it, Mr. Idle? Rough and tough. Those are not the words to associate with the Super Destroyer, Mega Destroyer, whatever he wants to call himself. Again, you know, three on one, it's a different story. Christmas night. It's one-on-one, -on -one. and just like I came out Thanksgiving Eve with a belt, I'm walking out with a belt. This Wednesday night, Kingsport, Tennessee, Southern States Wrestling, you're going to have a new champion. A champion you can be proud of. <laughs> you just never know. You just never know where I might be. And you know what? Kingsport's not very far from my home. So I just might show up too. <laughs> <laughs> there you heard from the new Southern States heavyweight champion and his challenger this Wednesday night in Kingsport, Tennessee. What a title match that's going to be. The Southern States Wrestling Tag Team Championships are on the line as myself, Bo James, and Wayne Atkins defend against JD and PD, the rough and tough team known as the Hogs. Let's take a look at the hog and then we're going to tell you more about Christmas Night Star Wars. <laughs> Folks, it's Jamie Harris here again with the brand new Southern States Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Wayne Atkins and Handsome Bo James. They've got a big title defense December 25th against the Hogs. That's right, right there at the Model City Event Center. Please bring canned food items for hunger first. We're going to help out a lot of people in the community right there that night. Right here in our own back door, Wayne and I travel all over the country, all over the Appalachians, all over the Southeast, but we love to do it right here in our home. We love to help our neighbors that need a hand up. And Christmas night that's what it's going to be but I'm going to give JD Hogg a different kind of hand I'm going to give him a Tennessee soup bone right there Christmas night now they're bragging and Thanksgiving extravaganza during the elimination match that they eliminated Wayne Atkins and myself they're bragging that they can beat us on any given night can PD out wrestle you not on his best day. Not on his best day. J.D. can't outfight me on his best day. Christmas night, Wayne Atkins, the sensational one. They called me the king around here for about 30 years, and I'm going to prove it right there, Christmas night, Model City Event Center.
Hey everyone, it's James Harris here with Joe Briggs. Joe, you've been on quite a slump here in uh, Southern States Wrestling, lost the past few matches. What's your thoughts on your match with Mike Blade on Christmas night, December the 25th? What'd you say your name was? James Harris. <laughs> That's cute. Let me tell you something about slumps. It depends on how you react to them. It depends on how you feel about yourself, how confident you are that you're going to come out. And the fact of the matter is, I know how good I am. I've been great for years, but even the greats lose a match or two. But you see, Mike Blade, you're not going to see the Joe Briggs that's been in the slump. You're not going to see the Joe Briggs that has been rolled up or had a quick one called on him. You're going to see the Joe Briggs that is motivated that will not back down, that doesn't give a crap about anyone in the audience or whoever respects him. I'm there to do one thing, and that is win. And on Christmas night at the Model City Event Center in Kingsport, Tennessee, I'm going to do just that. Because I vowed to every place that I've ever been, and I'm going to do it here at Southern States Wrestling. I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to show you how great I am. And that starts at the Model City Event Center on Christmas night. Be sure to be there, folks. It's sure to be a great night of Southern States wrestling action. There you heard from Joe Briggs talking about his match with Mike Blade this Wednesday night, Kingsport, Tennessee, Model City Event Center, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Make sure you bring some canned food items to give those in our community a hand up that need it. Two more big matches have been signed for Christmas night in Kingsport. The Appalachian Mountain heavyweight title will go on the line as Stan Sierra defends against returning to Kingsport for the first time in many years, the popular Denny Cooley. And it's going to be a tag team war as the legends of Kingsport, Wayne Rogers and Don Wright, take on the rough and tough, unpredictable team of Equalizer Crunch and Outlaw Chick White, known as the Death Rider. Three big title matches this Wednesday night, Christmas night in Kingsport, Tennessee. A tag team grudge match. Joe Briggs against Mike Blade. And when we come back, Misty James is going to be right here on the program to talk about her last match, her farewell match, Christmas night in Kingsport. back and we've been talking about it all program long Christmas night Star Wars right there Model City Event Center 201 East Center Street downtown Kingsport Tennessee right next door right across the street from WKPT TV and radio right on the corner of Commerce and Center and what a great night it's going to be we've told you about the title matches we've told you about the grudge matches we've told you about Joe Briggs trying to get out of the losing slump now we're going to do something completely different in my 30 years in wrestling, all they have ever told me to do an interview, an opponent, a town, a date, and a building. And I can handle that. Right now, I don't know what we're going to do other than we're going to talk about my wife right here, Misty James, your last match, Christmas night, in Kingsport, in your home area, hometown, and it's going to be for a great cause. Bring canned food items for Hunger First because we're going to give back to the community. That's why we do this event on Christmas night. Now, I want to talk about... Not our 15 years together. I want to talk about the last 30 years. See, I've already got you wondering if you're in trouble. And we're going to show some B-roll that may embarrass you here, but that's all right. Do it. I started very young in this profession, 15 years old in the ring. And I knew who Misty was from the very first day that I was ever in the ring because she was sitting ringside with her mother and her uncle and her little baby sister because at the time her stepdad was a ring announcer. And over the years, I knew who Misty was. She was always around the matches, it seemed, as a kid. Not really a diehard fan, were you? No, not really. Just a casual yeah. fan, liked to go. It was a social gathering. She didn't have the sickness like I did. She wasn't born with the sickness like me or Jake Booth or Waylon. And... <laughs> So, you never dreamed of being a wrestler? No. 
Never had a dream of being a wrestler. Nope. But, you know, you as a teenage girl, she used to write me letters and tell me that one day she was going to marry me. Oh, yes, you did. Her sister has told me that she used to practice writing Misty James when she was a teenager. See, we're going to embarrass you a little bit. And 2005... May the 5th to be exact, I took your hand for the first time and we've been together every day since. You never dreamed of being a wrestler, you accepted that I'm a wrestler, that I'm a lifer. Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Handsome Jimmy, Gypsy Joe, Bo James. If we're 90 years old, we're still going to be making towns and doing what we love. But Misty came from a small area, Scott okay. County, Virginia, Gate City area, same That's place right. that my grandmother came from. and. Misty had dreams of going places in this country. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And two weeks after we were together, I said, baby, write out a list of places that you want to go. And wrestling is going to take us there. And it has. Yeah. Because of wrestling, we have stood on top of the Appalachian Mountains. Because of wrestling. Yeah. Because of wrestling, we have stood on top of the Rocky Mountains together. Because of wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Because of wrestling, we have walked Lower Broad in Nashville, the Grand Ole Opry, and we've also walked the Las Vegas Strip. Because of wrestling. Yeah. That's right. We've seen the Grand Canyon. We've seen Texas. We've seen Seattle. We've seen Denver, Colorado. We've seen the whole country. And you never dreamed as a little girl that was going to take you there. Nope, but wrestling took me there. Right. So, as much as you've put in for 13 years, the rewards have come back. And I know that Christmas night is going to be emotional for you. Sure is. It's going to be emotional for me because I'm going to tell you why. For the last 13 years, it's been me and her against the world. Every day we leave the house, I say, it's me, you, and the Lord against the world. Now, oh, Bo James is back on the road by himself, so it's going to have to, going to, have to be a whole other story. I'm going to have to readjust here and uh, try to get things back together and stay out of trouble that I used to get into a long, long time ago. But I don't have to worry about that because now I'm going to want to get home even faster because Misty's going to be here without me. But I know one thing that you have always loved about wrestling and you've always loved about everywhere we've went, you've had fans. Oh, yes, most definitely. And I know places that we never imagined that people would know us. Like when we were in Las Vegas for the CAC and a man from Christ Church, New Zealand came up to us and started talking to us about our career. And it blew us away. And we said, how in the world do you know about us? And he said, YouTube, mate, YouTube. So we don't know where this show goes out around the world. We know we do it for the people right here in our home area. We know Christmas night is yeah. to give back to our community. Yeah. But I want to give you a minute right here before we get into talking about your match. I want you to talk about the fans and how they've touched you the last 13 years. <clears throat> the last 13 years, fans around the world have been amazing. I just want to thank you personally for following me and keeping up with me and watching me grow in this wrestling business that I have been in for 13 years. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys have been amazing. I just cannot stress that enough. How blessed I am to be able to meet so many wonderful people in this world that has come out and supported me and that has came out and supported the wrestling event that night. And all the fans coming up to me and, and wanting to take my picture and wanting my autograph. It's, it makes me feel like I'm 10 feet tall and bulletproof. I mean, it was just amazing. And that's one thing that I'm going to miss more than anything being out of the wrestling business is the wrestling fans. That's what's really hit me right here. Yeah. And Christmas night at intermission, we're going to give you a chance to get in the ring and get one last picture with Misty. Now let's talk about fans. We've got a lot of great fans and you've got great fans and you get, you're getting teared up. And I, <laughs> and I know this is getting ready to hit you. Christmas night, my family going to be there. Christmas night, your mother going to be there. Your sister's oh, yeah. going to be there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be our family's present to everybody out there. A great night of wrestling, but we're going to kick it off or end it with Misty's last night. But I know two of your big, you're not two of, the two biggest fans that you've ever had as a wrestler, as a woman, as a person. One of them, my grandma, my granny, who the very first day she ever met you, she said, marry that girl, boy. You better marry her. She's from Scott County. Right. <laughs> and your dad, mm -hmm. who was always ringside when we wrestled locally and who was always yelling, get her girl, get her girl. Christmas night, 
I know both of them are going to be looking down at you and they're going to be so proud because they've watched you grow. I will be the proudest of everybody in that building because I've watched you struggle. I've watched you battle. i watched you have to figure out that this is a corrupt business. This is a dirty business. This is a cutthroat business. And you look for the good in everybody and you have survived for 13 years. And I know that a lot of people love you, but nobody loves you as much as I do. Nobody's going to cheer you on as much as me that night. And nobody's going to be as sad to see you leave the ring than I am Christmas night. Now I want to talk about a couple things, then we're going to get to your match. Just let's go through a little history. Superstar Wrestling, Pennsylvania, women's champion. Appalachian, women's champion. West Virginia, women's champion. All-Star Wrestling, women's champion. BWF in Virginia, women's champion. Multiple times Southern States champion. You've had an unbelievable <laughs> career. But one thing that's been great, when you came into wrestling, you were already an athlete. You right. played softball all your life. You right. were state champion in softball. Yep. You won national honors as an outfielder. Yep. And if wrestling wasn't hard enough, along the 13 years, she picked up racing boats, row boats, not motor boats, having to use your strength of your body. And she went on to be a champion in that also. So everything you've set out to do, you you became a champion in. And I know, like I said, it's going to be a great night. Our family's going to be there. A lot of people, we've had people from Kentucky say they're coming. West Virginia, Virginia, all across the Tri-Cities, they're coming to say goodbye. And it's not going to be a, com it's your last wrestling match. But you will make appearances from time to time. You will be seen at ringside maybe. But it, it is your ra last wrestling match. And you say, at the end of the night, right there in the middle of the ring, you're yep. going to do what? I'm going to take my boots off, and I'm not going to touch them anymore. My nephew, Jake Booth, that night's going to be the referee. He's going to take my boots. He's going to take them up to the dressing room. He's going to put them in my bag, and I'll never touch them again. So that's closure to that. But you'll still be around, still be able to see time from time. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to take a couple of minutes, and I want us to watch a little bit of history between Misty James and Lemon Juice McGee because your match on Christmas night is against Lemon Juice's hand-picked mystery opponent. Let's take a little look back at some history. And uh, I have a feeling Bo, because I, I know Bo very well, he's going to kind of, yeah, make it better get him back because he's going to, well, <laughs> uh, that was a bad mistake right there. Oh, oh my goodness. And Misty James taking down Lemon Juice and beating the snot out of him, boy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he expected that. Misty James putting the boots to Lemon Juice sends him flying. Bo and Misty standing tall in the middle of the ring. Destroyer and Lemon Juice on the outside. We've got trouble in the family. Lemon Destroyer rocking and rolling. Big double noggin knocker right there. When minds collide. As uh, it's breaking down all the way across. Misty James now coming in. She's got Lemon Juice McGee bringing him in the hard way. Everybody's in now. And Misty taking it to Lemon Juice here. Caught him with a big hip toss. She's going for a cover. This can do it. Referee's in. And there you have it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Misty James gets the pin. And she says, no, 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 this battle royal is not over. It is not over. And she's stepping in the ring here. And the fans are going wild here. Lemon Juice McGee is looking for an exit. He, all of his guys have left ringside. But I tell you what, I hope he's ready. Because Misty James has come down. She's ready for a fight. This girl is double tough, country strong. Misty James, the Queen of Kingsport. And Lemon Juice McGee scurrying around here, trying to get away from her. She's got him, though. As, uh, oh, she dropped him right there with one shot. Misty James has got Lemon Juice McGee scrambling, running for his life, if you will. She said, no, this battle royal is not over. I was registered for this battle royal. And there he goes. Over the top rope. Lemon Juice McGee is eliminated. Misty James is your winner of the first ever battle royal here at Summer Bash. All right. 
I see why that guy doesn't like you. You're always, you know, punching him right in the head and right in the face. You ruined his battle royal moment. He had dreamed of winning a battle royal since being a little kid. He sent the message to Joe Wheeler, and the match was made. Lemon Juice refused to come on here two weeks in a row. They have asked Lemon to send in an interview, and he refused to do it. <laughs> that don't surprise me. He will not show his face on here, but he says he's going to show his face in the new year as he gloats because he says his hand-picked opponent is going to make you go out a loser and is going to make sure that you go out injured Christmas night. Now, he does not make it clear whether he will be there or not. But I will tell you this. If you show up, Lemon, I'm going to make sure you don't get involved in the match. And when the match is over, win, lose, or draw, I'm going to make sure she gets a hold of you one last time. <laughs> one last time, So, buddy. But here's some rumors being thrown around. Okay. Jesse Bell. Rebecca Lynn. Okay. Violet Adams. Okay. Uh, gosh, who else? Casey Carlisle. All these women are being thrown around because they all have history with you, title defenses. They've lost titles to you. They've won titles from you. You've had feuds with them over the years. They've all have been thrown into this. Yeah. Maybe it's somebody that we don't know. Maybe it's somebody that Lemon has found from the West Coast or Canada or somewhere else. We're not sure who it is. But I want you to look right there in the camera because I know he's watching. And I want you to tell Lemon Juice what you have in store for him and his mystery mm -hmm. opponent on Christmas night. First of all, Lemon Juice McGee, if you do show up, he will take care of you. And then no matter if I'm beaten down and bruised, I will take care of you after my match. Now, whatever mystery opponent you have coming in to face me, bring him on. Because for many years, I've used this slogan, and it will always be with me no matter what. I am country strong, Misty James. They call me country strong for a reason. And I, like I said, I don't care who you're going to bring Christmas night because this country strong cowgirl, oh, I'm getting fired up. This country strong cowgirl is going to be ready no matter what. It's my last match. It's my last time wrestling in front of my fans and my family. So I'm giving it 110%. There you go. Lemon Juice, I hope you're ready because she is and I am. Christmas night's a big night. Please, if you're coming to the matches, I want to tell you this one more time. Everybody who buys a ticket gets a free Christmas present from us there that night. One lucky fan is going to walk away with a set of tickets, ringside seats to the WWE Live event in Knoxville January the 18th. Thanks to one of our great sponsors. And we ask you that you please bring canned food items there Christmas night to help those in our community with a hand up that need it through Hunger First and all the great work that they do. Please remember, the reason for the season of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's going to be a great night. We're going to celebrate it right there Christmas night. We're going to have a short message at the beginning. We're going to have a special prayer at the beginning before the matches. Then six big matches, and it's topped off by her last match in a night that you're never going to want to forget. It's going to be huge. Don't you dare miss it. Christmas night, Model City Event Center, 201 East Center Street, downtown King Sports, Tennessee. Be there!